All right, now we have started getting One UI 3.0 Beta 2 for Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and I'm sure even Note 10 will be getting this update at the same time. It's not been long since we got Beta 1, it's been just about 25 days. As you can see here, the software update information, the versions you can see, and the size is about 520.66 MB. And we have also got the new security patch level for 1st December 2020. If we look at the change log here, I see more or less all the old features which are mentioned here. I'm not sure why they have mentioned this. You can see features like wireless decks, some keyboard features, some pro video features, etc. These were already there in beta 1 itself, but the same thing has been mentioned under this section here in the latest beta. But when we look at Samsung members application, I have got two new notifications here. The first notification is about the second beta software update. It mentions about all those bug fixes which we have been facing. As you can see here, we have got camera force close fix, camera crash when attempting to shoot with different front rear video ratio, camera cannot enter after update, green screen appears when camera zoom in or out, home UI keeps restarting, cannot unlock with fingerprint, files in recycle bin before update disappear after Porta update, keyboard size reduction during use, other minor bug fixes. On my device, I have been facing a couple of these bugs, which uh, looks like it will get resolved now. In fact, the green screen flicker got resolved by itself and uh, I think a lot of people have been facing this issue. So uh, this uh, bug has been fixed already, it seems like. I don't think there would be any new features which will be added with this beta, but let me just download the update and see what is new here and uh, how the device is performing and how is the battery performance. I will keep you guys posted after the download. All right, now let's look at the second notice that we have. Uh, here it says rollback is possible now. The Samsung Pass and Samsung Pay issues have been resolved and rollback is now possible. Rollback version DTL3, updating from DTL3 to beta version is supported from the next beta version. So there was an issue to rollback from beta version to stable because of uh, Samsung Pass and Samsung Pay issues and it seems like now it's been resolved. So in case if you want to roll back your beta, you can do that. So that's a good news for some of you guys who wanted to roll back from beta version. I did not face any major issues on the device which I'm using here one concern i had is a slow device the screen flickers a bit whenever i try to open any applications or open the app drawer or notification panel so this issue has been there and uh, i'm hoping that this will be fixed with this update i will come back with another video after the update if there is any new changes here so stay tuned for that you guys let me know what do you think about this beta update if you have already received it do let me know in the comment section below that's all i have here i will see you in the next one soon you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye